Alright guys, cable guy Ken coming back to you again. Um, a while back, Mr. Harley Lane was lucky enough to get in on the deal that Sportsman's Guide had. And, uh, you know, he's like me, he buys the stuff, you buy them in bulk. You don't really need but one, maybe two at the most, so he shares the wealth. He sent me one of these backpacks, I think it's the Swiss backpack. Um, yeah, definitely Swiss backpack. Uh, it is a rubber coated canvas. The whole thing inside and out is rubber coated. So this is going to be the most waterproof bag I've ever owned. Um, you can see the bottom of it is a real heavy, heavy leather. Really stiff. Same on the, the front pocket here. The front pocket looks to be probably about a 3 by 8 by 12 as far as size. 3 inches deep, 8 inches high, 12 inches side to side. Um, all the leather and all on, on these bags is in really good shape considering how old these are. I mean these are like World War II era bags and uh, the leather straps and all on all of them. They're a little bit dry. You need to put a little bit of uh, snow seal or you know some other leather treatment on them. But they're really in good shape considering the age that's on these bags. All the buckles and all are on them. And uh, with the exception of not having the pockets on the outside like a, a small or medium Alice pack, it's about the same size as a medium Alice pack as far as in, inside contents, um, what you can put inside of it. It does have a, a built-in frame. It does have a little draw bag that you can tie up inside to keep it dry. Just wrap that around there real quick and help keep the stuff dry and then of course it has a pull string for the uh, outside top or the secondary top if you want to call it that that you can rip up there real quick and latch it down and then and I probably just did all that off camera there's your your outside bag draw and then again like I said there's your inside lining bag that's attached to kind of help you keep everything dry I've got mine tucked down inside because I don't see the need for it. This thing seals up enough that, you know, it's going to keep everything good and dry. You've got your uh, leather straps here with two different attachment points. So if you've got a little bit wider shoulder like I do, there's actually an attachment here that you can take this loop off and put it here, and it'll pull the straps more outside your shoulders, make it ride a little bit more comfortable for you. Of course, you've got a D-ring here in the middle that the other support goes to to kind of help bear the load. And then, of course, you've got adjustments down here at the bottom for the overall length of the straps. Right there. You can see I've got that one pulled out where I was actually adjusting it to make it uh, carry a little bit. It's got a built-in kidney strap. It's just a leather strap. But, I, I mean... It's as comfortable, if not more comfortable, than my Alice pack was, especially where it's riding out on my back. It rides a little bit higher than the kidneys, so it's actually a lot more comfortable. And it is an internal frame. There's an internal metal bar here and here that adds to that rigid rigidness of it. Um, this one's actually even got the card from the Swedish soldier that was carrying it during battle, which, you know, tickles me. Some people don't care, but... To me, that little extra extra little bit of history out in the woods, uh, I don't know, just kind of makes it feel kind of neat to me. But give you a little close up there. As you can see, it's still, I mean, for it to be World War II or better, this thing is in immaculate shape. Um, plenty of, plenty of years left in it. You've got a little spot here that you can attach something to with a, a lashing or a strap. Same on the other side here. And then down here at the bottom as well. Again, I said on the other side, you could run a piece of cordage through there and dangle something off of it. Um, I'm probably going to make a little sheath to carry my axe right here. I can attach it to this top bung, put me a little loop on there that I can slide my axe down through, and then another loop here to tuck the tail end of it in. Plenty of room on this outside pocket to store food anything that you might need to get to and like I said the inside of it the inner dimensions of this thing is just 
massive. I mean, I'll put I'll put way more in here than I ever need to carry in the field. And then there's another little strap here. And of course, these are your buckles for your uh, top strap to lash it down. And then your buckles for your bottom strap. I was looking at it thinking that you might could even tie something to the bottom of this if you ran it just right through the the loops here you could run a piece of cord through there and tie your bedroll to the bottom of it if you wanted to um, but if not I mean you could definitely tie it to the front and uh, not have any issues with it going anywhere definitely a durable pack I think it rides good it's not a uh, it's not at all uncomfortable I said I need to widen mine up a little bit just right here just so it's not pulling quite so much on my shoulders if I come in but uh, it rides comfortably even without lowering it down or anything. It uh, feels like putting on a vest, you know. It don't it don't feel like my other packs. But I am going to lower it down maybe about four or five inches so that the top of the basket is right below my neckline. And then I'm going to widen these straps up so that they come out to my shoulder line uh, more around in here so I can pull in a little bit more. So. That's it for today, fellas. I'm losing my daylight. Um, I got, like I said, I got some more videos I'm gonna do for you. I got a video, um, brother. I don't remember your name. I'd have to look in the comments to, to remember. I've got a message from you. I will do the video on wrapping the handle of my BK11, the small Becker Necker. I will do that video Thursday, just as soon as I get off work. My promise to you. I'm a man of my word. So be looking for it. I said, I do sorry for the delays, y'all. I'm doing the, the most I can right now, trying to get everything under control, starting a new job and all. So I appreciate everybody's views, supports, your comments. Look forward to seeing videos from y'all. I subscribe to most of you. Um, I've been missing out on a lot of people's videos, but I'm back in the ball game. It's the first inning, and we just did a home run. We'll catch you in the next one.